Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how you can use your TI graphing calculator to determine the exact values on a unit circle. Now in some math courses you may be required to memorize the coordinates on a unit circle, but if you're permitted to use your calculator, whether it's a TI graphing calculator or whether it's a scientific calculator, uh, you'll be able to hack it to come up with those exact values. So uh, here I have a calculator in degree mode and my first example is cos 240 degrees. So I can just type in cos 240 and press enter and I get negative 0.5. Now you can press math, the math key, and convert this result into a fraction which then of course would give you negative 1 over 2, right? So negative 0.5 becomes negative 1 over 2. Very plain and simple. Um, another example might be a sine 180 degrees. Now sine 180 is exactly 0, so you don't even have to convert that to a fraction because 0 is already an exact value. Now where you might uh, get into a little bit of trouble is with a question like sine 60 degrees. Okay, so sine 60 degrees, if we use the same method, we can type in sine 60 and we come up with 0 0.866, etc, etc. Now if I press the math key and try to convert this one into a fraction, then it doesn't go. Why? Because 0 0.866, 0 0.025, blah, 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 is actually an irrational number. So of course it's not going to be expressible as A over B. So what do we do? Well, we can do this. We can square both sides. Now if I square 0 0.866, 0 0.025, etc., I get 0.75. Now remember, that's not what we're after. We're not after the exact value of sine squared 60 degrees. We're after the exact value of sine 60 degrees. But because we couldn't convert that irrational number into a fraction, we are bypassing that and we're squaring it. Now, how does this help us? Well, if I now use the uh, conversion to math feature and convert 0.75 into a fraction, I end up with 3 quarters. So sine squared 60 degrees, or sine 60 degrees squared, is equal to 3 quarters. But if I want just plain sine 60 degrees, if I want that exact value, then I just have to square root 3 quarters. Right? And so square rooting 3 quarters means square rooting 3, which is root 3, and square rooting 4, which is 2. Boom! There's your exact value. Sine 60 degrees is equal to root 3 over 2. So the key here is if you can't convert it to a fraction, square it, convert the squared version into a fraction, and then simply put a square root over the numerator and the denominator. Let's try our third example and see what happens. Okay, so our third example is tan 510 degrees. So I will press tan, 510, and of course this also works uh, with radians and angles in, in radians. Now tan 510 degrees is equal to a negative value. Now of course if I try to convert this into a fraction, no go. So again, it's irrational. Um, we're not going to be able to express it as A over B as is. So what I can do is, uh, again, I can square both sides. Now, notice that when I do so, if I square both sides, I actually lose the negative. So one thing I'm going to have to keep in mind is that the tan of 510 degrees is negative, so I'm going to have to remember to put that negative uh, into the final answer because I've lost it already by squaring it, okay? So once I've got it squared, it turns out to be a decimal that I can convert into a fraction. So again, math to fraction one-third, okay? So tan squared of 510 degrees is one-third, but I don't want tan squared 510, I want just regular tan 510. So now I just have to square root both sides and get tan 510 degrees is equal to one over root three. Oh, but right, it's supposed to be negative, so let's just make sure that we pop that back in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a calculator hack for coming up with the exact values on a unit circle. Good luck.